Hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I'm going to tell you guys another birthday party horror story. So this birthday party horror story wasn't bad as my first two birthday party horror stories. Whereas this one was just because a guest was being a little bit upset and accused everyone around her of making her feel left out when she was doing it to herself. And this is a story just to teach you guys that if you're going to a birthday party with a huge guest of people and you don't like being in a huge guest, the next time maybe not go because because it's not fun for everyone else when you're the one making the party miserable for yourself the whole time. So I'm going to get started. And if you didn't see my first two birthday party horror stories, I'll link this one down below. This one wasn't as bad. I'll link them both down below if you haven't seen them. I'm sorry, I can't talk today. And if you didn't see my first, yeah, like I said, if you didn't see my first two birthday party horror stories, I'll link them down below. And this one, this birthday party horror story wasn't as bad as the first two. Two, this is like kind of bad but um bad but it wasn't bad later on so i'm gonna get started so this all started about four years ago i went to a birthday party for one of my friends friends because we were going out to lunch and we were going to this cheap local burger place that made really good hamburgers and it was how many was it so there were like eight people go there were eight people going plus two supervisors and it was so it was pretty much 10 of us all together and we have supervisor one and two and so we have upset coming with us upset is the other person that was come is the person i'm mentioning upset comes to the party party she's like all excited and happy and we're all excited that she's excited and happy and excited to go to the party party so we are all excited just to go and have lunch so we get on the bus and we go to the hamburger place but when we get to the hamburger place upset just sits all by herself and she won't even join us so I decide to invite upset to join us at the party but when I go to talk to her she just walks away from me and I'm like okay this is kind of weird so I figured she was probably like upset about uh, the down in the dumps about something and so I decide to just let her be and not bother her her and I just try to enjoy the party with my friends and so I sit with my friends we have a good time and chat but then supervisor number one sees upset sitting all by herself and goes to join her join her and then I'm like curious to know what's going on and supervisor two follows along long and I walk over my friends and I walk over to upset and supervisor number one doesn't look very happy and she goes excuse me girls but upset is feeling left out and I'm like why is she feeling left out we tried to invite her to join us for lunch but she wouldn't join us and at first the supervisor wouldn't have it and she's on upset side but supervisor number two has a chat with supervisor one, number one as she tells supervisor number one that upset chose not to eat with us and it, how it's upset's own fault that she's feeling left out. So supervisor number one understands and, and, super, and, and apologizes to me and my friends for making upset feel left out. For well, no, accuses a, for, apologizes for accusing us of making upset feel left out and we forgive the supervisor. So supervisor number one has a chat with upset and explains to her how it was her own fault because she decided to sit by herself. Nobody's making her feel left out and how she's doing it to herself, which I thought was a good thing because upset was not taking any responsibility for her actions, despite the fact we were trying to be as nice to her as we could, but she just would not take our kindness at all. So then we go around shopping at the local shopping center we're at, and we go to the store and upset is complaining because we're not because we're ma still making her feel left out but the supervisors are supervisors finally can't stand hearing this and have a chat with her and take upset outside and then ex and they think they're talking to her about how it's her own fault that she was making herself feel left out nobody was making her feel left out and how we all were trying to be nice to her but she just didn't wouldn't take our kindness because despite the fact we were doing everything we could to be nice to her and invite her to join us and she just chose not to join us and how that's her own fault 
Well, so I couldn't hear the conversation because they were to took her outside to have a chat with her. And so once they how and how she needs to stop blaming everybody just because she's upset. So upset finally understands and takes responsibility for her actions. She comes back in and apologizes to all of us for accusing us of making her feel left out. Now, when it's her own fault and she should have taken and she should have sat and joined us does um when we invited her and i told her that was okay and so we decided to invite upset to go shopping with us and then we walked around the store with upset and showed her all the different things and she started to feel much better once um we took her shopping with us and then we just completely forgot about it afterwards afterwards and we just continued to enjoy the party so the moral of the story is if you choose to sit by yourself at a birthday party it party party and you don't want anybody near you it's your own fault that you made that decision because you can't and can't go around blaming other people just because you're upset and you want and you didn't and okay so let me start it's nobody's fault that you're upset it's your own fault because you decided to sit by yourself and didn't want anyone to join you join you and if you feel upset about it later and you're blaming other people, you're hurting other people's feelings. So it's never okay to blame things for something you did at a party, like sit by yourself and accuse other people of making you feel left out. That's not how it works at a birthday party. So um, if you're going to go to a birthday party and just make everybody else feel else accuse everyone else of making you feel left out when you chose to sit by yourself, then don't go to a party at all. All because it's not okay to blame other people for your people for making when you did something to yourself. So, so, and also, if you don't like being in big groups of people, maybe don't go to a birthday party. So, that was my birthday party horror story number three. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please just hit a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.